Hey guys, show me this one to a big shout out to Rugby League Coffee Mountain. All the best for you, thank you. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to the NRL 2023 um, predicted teams for part number four, the final part, five teams to go. Might as well do them all in the one. Um, hope you guys are all doing well on this Monday night, January 30, 2023. It is 7.08 p.m. Here in New South Wales, um, we're going to be we're going to be um, doing the best one to seventeen for five NRL teams tonight. We're going to be doing the Melbourne Storm, we're going to be doing the West Tigers, the Canberra Raiders, the Newcastle Knights, and the one New Zealand Warriors, whatever the hell they want to be known as these days. But ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to the YouTube channel, make sure you give it a like and a comment and a subscribe and hello to everyone in the live chat. If you're watching in the live chat and you're new, don't be afraid to um, in interact with the live chat. Don't be afraid to, to subscribe to the channel. We're on the way to 3K subscribers. So um, let's get into it. But first, let's see who is in the live chat. We've got Logan Finlay, CJ Moxley, Luke Melbourne Storm fan, Tim Jones. Um, we got Rishi from the UK over there, Luke Melbourne Storm fan. We've got a bit of the crowd starting to build in here. Looking like a good crowd here tonight. Hope you guys are all doing very well. Yes, we do have a troll game this week. Broncos versus Wynnum. Hainsey is in the live chat as well. Thoughts on Pro Enzo Vids' ladder prediction? Well, as everyone knows, I am close friends with Pro Enzo Vids. I consider him another brother. Pro Enzo Vids predicted the Cowboys to miss the top eight. So, Pro Enzo Vids, go get fucked. Anyway. We'll save that for another time. I'm sure on the podcast this week, me and Pro Enzo Vids will have a very, very friendly, fiery debate about that. So get ready for the podcast this week. Me and Pro Enzo Vids, we're going to go toe-to-toe about this. So look out for the podcast this week, guys. It's going to be it's going to be fireworks. But without further ado, oh, speaking of the man himself, here he is, Pro Enzo Vids. No worries, my friend. It's all good. All right, let's go. Let's get into the um, the part four of the 2023 predicted teams. And we're going to start off with Melbourne. Um, in my opinion, this is the Melbourne Storm's best 1-17 to for the 2023 NRL season. So let's rip into it. Fullback, Ryan Pappenhausen. On the wings, George Jennings and Xavier Coates. In the centres, Remus Smith and Justin Ollum. In the halves, Cameron Munster and Jerome Hughes. The front row of Christian Welsh and Nelson Osofa Solomona. The hooker is Harry Grant. The back row of Eli Katoa and Tarek Sims. The lock is Tui Kamakamifa. And on the bench, Nick Meany, Aaron Penne, Josh King and Chris Lewis. Now, most of this team is pretty easy to predict. I think... George Jennings, I reckon he might get that wing spot um, over guys like Anderson, guys like um, Nick Meany. I think Nick Meany will be more suited to the Melbourne Storm's Jersey 14 where he'll come on and play a bit of a versatile role. Might be a bit of a utility. George Jennings, some will say he's horrible. And, yes, for the most part, he is probably an average winger compared to the other wingers in the game. But... I feel like if he wasn't injured or if he didn't get injured last year, George Jennings probably would have still been on the wing for the Melbourne Storm. So I think Jennings does the job. Raymond Smith returns into the centres. He will do his part. Christian Welsh returns from injury, so I expect him to start. 
Nelson will probably start in the front row as well. Um, Katoa Sims, the new signings, that they'll probably go into the back row. Kama Kamifa can play lock. I think he can ball play a little bit. I think also with Aaron Panay back at the club, he'll come off the bench with Josh King. Chris Lewis will get a bench spot somewhere. Overall, it's probably what most people would expect from the Melbourne Storm. I think they've named quite a um, a strong squad. Um, or, or I think I think it's their best squad. I think it's the best team they can name on paper. We'll see how they go this year. But for me, that's the Melbourne Storm's best one to seventeen for season twenty twenty three. Now, let's go to the West Tigers. Last year's wooden spoon. Looking to improve for 2023. I've gone through their squad. It's, um, I think some of the positions are pretty easy, but some of it's still a bit unknown. So, in my opinion, this is the West Tigers. Best one to 17 for 2023. Fullback, Dane Laurie. On the wings, David Nofaluma and Ken Mamalo. In the centres, Brent Naden and Stafford Toa. In the halves, Adam Dewey and Luke Brooks, the front row of David Klemmer and Stefano Utakumano. The hooker is Abby Corosau. The back row of Isaiah Papali'i and John Bateman. The lock is Alex Twole. And on the bench, Jake Simkin, Joe Offer and Gowie, Sean Bloor and Alex Safebath. I think that's the Tigers' best 1-17. to I think Dane Laurie's under pressure to keep his spot at fullback. I think Charlie Staines is pushing um, to potentially be the fullback for the Tigers, but I think Dane Laurie deserves first crack, and I think Laurie is better than Stane, so we'll see how they go there. Uh, Naden and Toa on the, in the centres. I know Tommy Talao's back from injury, but I think he might have to prove himself a little bit. I think Naden will start centres. Stafford Toa was excellent last year in that really weak Tigers team, so Stafford Toa will probably get that centre spot with Naden. Mamalo and Nofaluma should be safe on the wing, although that young Kapoor kid will probably push him. Charlie Staines may even push him as well. So they've got a little, little bit of depth in the outside backs, the West Tigers. Um, the halves, Dewey and Brooks. I think, um, what's his name? I just went there the other week. Brendan Wakeham. I think Wakeham will push Brooks and maybe Dewey, but Dewey and Brooks are probably the strongest halves the Tigers have got at the moment. Uh, the front row picks, it steps, picks itself. You could argue offering Gary over Stefano, but I think Stefano is more suited to the starting side than he is the bench. Um, Papali and Bateman will obviously be the back row. I think Twelve will start at lock. The bench, they're a bit weak on the bench, the Tigers. I think Simkin will play off the bench as that hooker, Jersey 14 role. Blue, he can play back row, a little bit of lock here and there. So he might come on into the middle. And Alex Safarp as well can cover the front row and the back row as well. Overall, it looks good on paper, like in the starting side, but a lot of question marks in a few other positions. Obviously, we'll get to the Tigers season preview when I get it, when I get to the season previews. But um overall, I think that's probably the best team the West Tigers can name on paper. So uh, we'll go from the Tigers. And we'll go to the nation's capital, the Great Sheen. Excuse me, the Cam Raiders. They say up the mill. The Great Shane. All right, best one to seventeen. Oh Jesus Christ, are we live? Connections playing up. Good Lord. All right, I think we're good. I'm still live, so all right, let's go. The Cam Raiders, best one to seventeen for season 2023. Fullback. Xavier Savage on the wings, Nick Kotrick and Jordan Rapana. In the center, Sebastian Chris and Matthew Tomoko. In the halves, Jack Whiten and Jamal Fogarty. The front row of Josh Papali and Joseph Tarpany. The hooker is Tom Starling. The back row of Hudson Young and Corey Hadawea Nida. The lock is Elliot Whitehead. The bench of Zach Wolford, Emre Gula, Corey Horsbrah, and Trey Mooney. We talked about Trey Mooney. Now, the back line, the back line picks itself. I think Chris and Tomoko get the nod over the legendary Jared Croker. Croker's old and slow, and I think Croker's going to have to 
earn his way back into the side. Um, Tom Starling needs to be starting hooker for the Raiders to make them stronger. I think Elliot Whitehead should play lock. I think Harry Naira um, and Hudson Young are the best back row combination they can go with. I think Elliot Whitehead can be that ball playing lock, and I think I think that's his best spot. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how they go with that. Um, the bench, I think Zach Wolford probably gets the spot on the bench um, as that jersey 14. Emre Gulo and Corey Horsburgh with the front row rotation. And Trey Mooney, a lot, lot of talk about him playing lock. Um, so we'll see how Trey Mooney does go. But I think that is the Canberra Raiders' best 1-17. to 17. It's a fairly competitive squad. They were in the final six last year. They did win a final. So, look, I think it's a fairly good squad. I think Adam Elliott is a bit of a blow for them. But I think it is a really good squad. I really do. But um, we go from the Canberra Raiders and we head to the Nova Castrians in the Newcastle Knights. Newcastle. Um, they were probably one of the easiest squads to name, but... Still a few uncertain players in some in certain positions. So let's just see how we go with this Newcastle Knights squad. Now, this is my best one to 17 for the Newcastle Knights for 2023. Fullback, Kalen Ponga. On the wings, Dominic Young and Greg Marzu. In the centres, Bradman Best and Dane Gagai. In the halves, Tyson Gamble and Jackson Hastings. The front row of Jacob Saifidi and Daniel Saifidi. The hooker is Jaden Braley. The back row of Tyson Frizzell and Lachlan Fitzgibbon. The lock is Adam Elliott. And on the bench, Kurt Mann, Leo Thompson, Jack Everington and Brody Jones. Now, clearly, Kalen Ponga at 5'8". If it does happen, it's going to be a failure. Ponga is the best fullback at the Newcastle Knights. So he's clearly the best choice in that position. Ponga must play fullback, not 5'8", for God's sakes. Gamble can play six. There's a case for maybe someone like Adam Clune, but Gamble will probably be the number six if the Newcastle Knights are fed income. Backline picks itself, although Heim or Hunt on that wing with Marzu, I mean, I think they're going to be fighting each other all year for it. Dom Young's a lock. Bradman Best, Gagai are safe. I think Marzu gets the nod over Heimel Hunt. For now, the Saifidi brothers are a no-brainer. I think Lachlan Fitzgibbon starts back row over Brody Jones. Um, Brody Jones will definitely be pushing for that starting back row position. But I think Fitzgibbon will get there for now because of his longevity and just his, just his experience. Kurt Mann's the perfect full aim for the Newcastle Knights. Leo Thompson and Jack Everington with the front row rotation for the Saifidi brothers. And Brody Jones will probably come on and play a bit of back row, maybe a bit of lock from time to time. Overall, I think that's the best Newcastle Knights team um, on paper that you could probably come up with. So we'll move on from the Newcastle Knights and we move on to the New Zealand Warriors, or what I should say, the one New Zealand Warriors. What a stupid name. Horrible name change, but we don't need, we need, we need to talk about that. The New Zealand Warriors, best one to 17 for the 2023 NRL season. All right, let's go. Fullback, Charles Nickel Klockstad. On the wings, Edward Cossey and Dallin Wateni Zalesniak. In the centres, Marcella Montoya and Viliami Valia. In the halves, Tamare Martin and the halfback, Sean Johnson. The front row of Adam Fennell Blake and Torhu Harris. The lock, I mean, the hooker, sorry, is Wade Egan. The back row of Mitchell Barnett and Josh Curran. The lock is Morata Niakore. And the bench is Dylan Walker, Bunty Afoa, Jazz Tavaga, and Jackson Ford. Now, a few, um, few reasons on a few players. So I think Chance is obviously the best man for the job at fullback for the New Zealand Warriors. I think Chan should start the year as fullback, and I think he's probably the best fullback the Warriors have there. DWZ's probably the only one that's safe in the back line outside of Chan's. I think v Viliami Valia proved last year that he's going to be a good centre in this competition, so he put him in the centres. I think he'll do the job. 
I think Montoya will play the other center role with Edward Cossey on the wing. Big fan of it. I'm a big fan of Edward Cossey. I think he'll play really well this year if he gets Tom on that wing with Montoya even in the centers. Um, Tamara and Martin at 5'8". I think that's a, that's an obvious one. Martin and Johnson with that combination. We'll see how that goes. Um, Harris to start in the front row simply because they haven't got much front row depth. Vanille Blake's obviously their best option. Wouldn't be surprised if Nia Corey goes to the front row and Harris goes to lock, but I think Vanille Blake and Harris are probably the best choice for the front row at the moment. Barnett and Curran in the back row. I think Curran's more suited to the second row, and I think Barnett's a back rower as well. Barnett can play left side. Curran can play on the right. Um, the bench, Dylan Walker will be at that jersey 14. Wouldn't be surprised if Walker starts at lock some games as well. Walker's the perfect 14 for the Warriors. Uh, Bunny, Bunny Afoa and Jazz Tavaga probably come on as that front row rotation. And Jackson Ford. Jackson Ford might come on into the back row with Josh Cohen moving to lock in some parts of the game. Jackson Ford may get that bench spot over... Um, over um, Bailey Sheridan, but we'll have to wait and see what they do there. But overall, I think that's the best one to 17 for the one New Zealand Warriors for season 2023. Anyway, guys, that concludes part four of the 2023 predicted teams. I've now done all 17 teams as best one to 17 for the 2023 NRL season. It's going to be interesting to see how close I am to this. Um, obviously, a lot can change. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. I hope you all enjoyed tonight's live stream. If you did, make sure you give it a like and a subscribe. Anyway, guys, I'm getting on out of here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.